Although hedge trimmers can differ from model to model, they all operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address how hedge trimmers work, as well as common problems you may encounter. Hedge trimmers can be powered by an extension cord, battery, or gasoline. Most gasoline-powered hedge trimmers use a two-cycle engine, which requires the gasoline to be mixed with oil for the engine to operate properly. Attempting to run a two-cycle engine without a suitable oil and gas mix will cause the engine to seize due to insufficient lubrication. The main benefit of a two-cycle engine is that it allows for a high output of torque while being relatively lightweight. Since hedge trimmers are intended to be handheld and operated at different angles, a two-cycle engine is ideal for this application. To start the engine, the ignition switch must be set to the start position. As the starter rope is pulled, the starter engages the drive cup on the flywheel and rotates the crankshaft. The rotating crankshaft connects to the piston, which moves up and down within the cylinder, and the ignition process begins. The flywheel has permanent magnets built into it, and as it rotates past the ignition coil, a magnetic field is created. The magnetic field induces electricity, allowing the ignition coil to send voltage to the spark plug. As the piston travels down the cylinder, it exposes an intake port and pumps fuel, oil, and air into the cylinder. As the piston travels back up the cylinder, a vacuum is created and gas, oil, and air is drawn through the carburetor into the crankcase. When the piston reaches the top of the cylinder, the spark plug ignites the compressed fuel and air mixture, which forces the piston back down, exposing an exhaust port where the spent fuel exits. A split second later, the intake port is exposed again. Fresh fuel is drawn in and the process is repeated with every revolution of the crankshaft. The exhaust from the engine travels through a muffler and spark arrestor. The muffler reduces engine noise, while the arrestor prevents burning carbon deposits from exiting the hedge trimmer and potentially starting a fire. Some engines may have a choke, primer bulb, or both to assist with starting, especially when the engine is cold. The choke will temporarily restrict airflow through the carburetor so more fuel can enter the cylinder. Likewise, a primer bulb draws additional fuel through the carburetor, which enters the cylinder before the engine is started. As the engine increases speed from idle to run, the clutch engages the clutch drum with its drive gear. The clutch drum drive gear engages the blade drive gear, and the blades begin to oscillate. The action of the blades moving back and forth allows the trimmer to cut through small branches on bushes and hedges. To avoid damaging the engine and ensure that it runs smoothly, you should use gasoline that contains no more than 10% ethanol. Or, for better stability, you can use a pre-mixed fuel and oil product that is ethanol-free. You should store the fuel mixture in a clean, sealed plastic container approved for fuel storage. If equipped, close the vent when not in use and store the container away from direct sunlight. If you anticipate storing the fuel for longer than three months, consider adding a fuel stabilizer when you fill the container. If the engine starts but loses power or stalls shortly after, the spark arrestor may be clogged, which prevents exhaust from exiting the engine. The clog is often caused by using too much oil or the wrong type of oil in the fuel mixture. If the engine doesn't start at all, the most likely cause is a defective spark plug or a restricted carburetor. The carburetor can be cleaned, but it often needs to be replaced. If the engine increases speed, but the blades fail to engage, then it's likely that the clutch or one or both of the drive gears have worn out. If the engine fails to accelerate, the throttle cable may be broken. All of these parts can be replaced. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your hedge trimmer. Enter the product's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. 
Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.